My name is Robert Roquar, also known as CJ, and I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, when I left high school, uh, everybody knew me as a football player, and my mindset leaving high school was I was going to make it through NFL and nothing else. You know, I was going to save my family through the NFL, uh, from here all the way to Nigeria. I went to Livingstone College. I only went to Livingstone College to get my education. After I left Livingstone College, I got accepted to Alabama State. Um, also, the football coach who uh, put it together, um, Coach Barlow, he, Reggie Barlow, that is, he allowed me, he gave me an opportunity to play D1 AA football. I left here, I was so excited. You know, I'm leaving North Carolina and I'm about to make a name put on for my city, my family, and make a name for myself. And everybody was happy for me. This is August 19th, and um, I'm at the uh, maintenance man house. And next thing you know, three men come in unmasked, and they come in basically rob us. Uh, they shot up in the air, and they told all of us to hit the ground. And I'll never forget this. Uh, they shot in the air, and they took everything from me. And at that time, you know, I'm not in the panic, but uh, you just go into shock, you know, you don't know what you're thinking. As they're leaving out, there's one dude who's the last person who's leaving, he has his head turned, so I saw an opportunity to hit the guy. I get up and I knock one of the guys out. He hit the ground, tussling for his gun. I basically try to, you know, knock the gun away. And as I'm knocking the gun away, one guy comes back and just shoot me in my back. They run to their car and, you know, I immediately hit the ground. Everything go numb. I just, I'm just thinking like everything's going wrong. Like everything is going wrong. I'm just thinking about my family, thinking about people back home. Like this ain't right. And then, and this, like at a slight tense, I feel like I let people down because I knew this was gonna set me back. I can remember me going into the truck, and I can remember me going, pad, going into the hospital. And then I wake up and come to find out, I wake up seven days later and I'm in a coma. And uh, I wake up with a T10 spinal cord injury. So that means I'm paralyzed from uh, belly button down. And paralyzed is, you know, I can't move nothing. I have no sensation. 10 minutes later, doctor walk in, you know, and they're telling me that, um, it's one of the many chances of me walking again. And uh, me, uh, any other person, I think, you know, they'll go into shock or, you know, go in crying or anything. But me, I didn't cry or anything. I ain't going to shock or anything. It, this wasn't bad. I'm still happy and blessed that I'm alive. So I'm thankful. I was just happy to see my family and seeing, you know, they happy, seeing that I'm alive. From what I'm told, like, I could have died. What I want to tell people is like, don't give up. Cause I didn't give up. And violence, <laughs> you, you, it's not the answer. I, I'm not even wishing anything bad on them or nothing like that because I got my situation and I know what goes around comes around. And God, he'll work his way. And to anybody who wants to live the violent lifestyle, whatever, I just want to tell you, it's not the way to go. If you want to murder somebody or something, you're not just affecting them. You're affecting a lot of people. Affecting yourself, really. Affecting yourself, really. You really are. I know the people who did it, they knew the stuff that I was going through. Crushed. You'd be crushed. You did it for no reason. You didn't even know me. Didn't know me at all. You'd be crushed. That gun is powerful, bro. Love is powerful. There's no 
they don't even have the science for love because it's so powerful. You can't break it down. There's so many elements to love. And it ain't just about me. It's about everybody. It's about the world. With this, I feel like me getting my story out is going to help change the world. I respect that guy. I respect him. Like, he, he keep me humble. 